The popular boat launch at Charlie Lake will be closed until July 19th as work is underway to replace the aging concrete launch. The new launch will be built with flexible concrete mattresses that will handle the frost better and are expected to last up to 50 years. The new launch will also extend further into the lake to help prevent boats from being damaged. The water table was really low last year and a lot of boats were getting damaged. Uh, it's not a very deep lake to begin with. Uh, so just the natural life of the lake uh, requires the boat launch to be extended if we want to continue to use it for recreational purposes. But before the project can begin, there's sensitive fish that need to be protected. With Charlie Lake, it's one of the few lakes around this area that actually have walleye or pickerel. Um, and, and they're they're relatively sensitive fish. Uh, this lake also has uh, jackfish and, and may even have whitefish. Not sure about that. But uh, uh, I know that the walleye and pickerel, they can be a little bit sensitive to uh, changes in their environment. So it's, it's really good. And it wouldn't matter what type of fish are in here. The Ministry of the Environment would be involved in, in a project such as this. Using an electric current, workers find fish, then temporarily stun them so they can be caught and moved away from the construction zone. So it's going to be a pretty neat project. Uh, the contractor, just like all construction jobs, they have to um, section off uh, the work area. So they're going to section it off with a, with a, they call it a curtain, big heavy curtain, uh, that construction area, and then uh, the, the ministry will come in and uh, remove the fish that are in that area, let them loose out into the lake, oh, cool. and then they'll, uh, they'll do the, the in-water works. In total, the project will cost the city $167,000. Boaters are asked to use the Beaton Provincial Park and Charlie Lake Provincial Park boat launches while the new launch is being built. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.